Our topic for today is a good fight. Wow, it's really a good fight because it's a, a good fight of the faith. Amen. We are fighting uh, for our salvation, friends. We are taking hold of our salvation. We are not giving up. Yes, the devil will come to spoil what we have received from the Lord, hoping that he can derail our faith. But we are not giving up. And, you know, our confession at the end should be just like what the Apostle Paul had confessed. In 2 Timothy 4, 7, he said, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Wow. Friends, that is our confession in the end. I have fought a good fight. And not only that, I have finished it. I have finished the race. And not only that, I have kept the faith. Hallelujah. The crown, I got the crown. See, that is the reward of those who are able to overcome finishing the race and taking hold of the eternal life that Christ had promised to those that had overcome. And so friends, that should be our confession. Amen. Meantime, let's press on. Hallelujah. We are still here, friends, doing the battle. We are still here being confronted with all kinds of problems. Look around, friends, with the problems that we have today. Look around. How can we overcome this? We have all kinds of sin coming to, to tempt us, to oppress us. There are so many temptations around, friends. Even during this pandemic, and we thought that we can be very safe because we don't actually go out. But no, the devil knows his way in to our homes. So that even at home, friends, where you are safe, supposed to be, where your children are supposed to be safe, the devil is able to come in. And we are fighting this battle, all these deceptions, all these temptations, and he comes in through all kinds of gadgets that you have, through your TV, through your phone, all the internet, friends, all the social media. The devil is using all this to come, to oppress. And this is the battle that I'm talking about, friends. It's that physical. You can beat your son, but what else can you do after, friends, when the devil is still there? When the devil is still continue to, to, uh, uh, to pounce your, your children with all kinds of lies and deceptions and wickedness. Therefore, this is the battle that we got to win. And we win it, friends, not by might, not by power, but demolishing that stronghold of the wicked one in the home, in the children, and in yourself. Amen. The stronghold, is there a stronghold of the devil in you? What's the stronghold of the devil in you? It could be a stronghold of unbelief, a stronghold of doubt, or all kinds of wicked thoughts wicked desires, and you will pursue all these things, but you got to knock it down. Friends, this can be very strong to you, but the Lord is able. Philippians 3, 13. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and is straining toward what is ahead. I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, brothers, we are still in the process. We have not taken hold of this yet. But one thing we do, we press on. Forgetting what is behind. Yes, your failures. All of us, we got our own failures. Forgetting what is behind now and is training towards what is ahead. There is something good waiting for us. Hallelujah. If only we don't give up, something good. Yes, sometimes the devil can, can do such a work for us that uh, uh, we are tempted to give up, to raise our hand in surrender to him, not to God. But no, let's press on. Rather, let us raise our hands towards God. Let us surrender our lives to God. And when we surrender our lives to God, friends, he will take over. He will take over. 
and that he will fight this battle for us. And therefore, friends, don't be discouraged. Amen. Trust the Lord. Surrender your life. Do you have Jesus with you? How can you win the battle if the Lord is not with you? We said, friends, that we can do all things through Christ. And so without Christ, how can we win the battle? Then we shall be the punching bag of the wicked one. We cannot defend ourselves. But if we have the Lord with us, then who can be against us? So make sure, friends, that you have Jesus in you. Do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you received him as your Lord and Savior? If you have not, this is the time to receive him. Because we are in a battle. And we cannot win, it, win this battle, friends, on our own. We need the help of God. We need the Holy Spirit with us for us to win. And so, friends, my prayer for each one of you is that surrender now your life to God. Yes, raise your hands in surrender. Not to the devil. No. Don't be like others where the arguments and the pretensions of the wicked one prevailed over them. And they raised their hands towards him and become a slave of the wicked one. No. Let us surrender our lives to God. Amen. And then let him be our Lord, be our Savior. This is my prayer for each one of you, friends, as we fight this battle. It's beyond us. May the Lord just strengthen you. Because in the end, friends, there is great reward. In Galatians 6, 9, you were running a good race who cut in on you and kept you from obeying the truth. Yes, friends, there is great reward if we are running a good race. We said earlier, friends, that it's an eternal reward, the salvation of our soul. But we are told that, yes, you are running a good race, but who cut in on you? Meaning, don't stop. We can be cut in our walk with the Lord. We can be distracted in our walk with the Lord, friends, if we drift from the truth. So let's keep the truth about the Lord Jesus Christ, that he is indeed Lord and Savior, and we need him. Therefore, friends, today, my prayer, again, is for you to be saved. Receive Jesus Christ. Amen. Friends, I pray that you learned a lesson out of what we discussed today. We are now at the end of our program, and my prayer is that we be victorious in this battle that we're in. Not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the living God, we shall overcome. Hallelujah. So friends, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace, his shalom. God bless. And always remember that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the inner voice of the Lord. So be with us every week that you may continue to increase in the faith that you have in the Lord Jesus Christ. 